Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. A surveyed crown must be fabricated so it occludes with the opposing teeth as well as has the correct contour for the clasp unit to be used on the partial denture. To ensure an acceptable surveyed crown, the crown must be waxed up to include proper anatomy, contact, and contour, as well as ideal occlusion with the opposing teeth. The wax up of the crown must begin with an acceptable die mounted securely in a work model which can be transferred from the articulator to the surveyor and back again to the same path of insertion and removal. The working cast with a removable die should be placed on the articulator in its correct relationship. This should be simple if the casts were mounted correctly. Remove the die from the cast and lubricate it with Duralay lubricant. Paint on red Duralay to build up a coping over the die for the wax up. The Duralay should be painted on carefully and slowly to ensure that it is thick enough to provide stability but still allow room for the inlay wax over it. The coping should be finished just short of the margins on the die. After the coping is acceptable, add soft green wax to the cervical edges of the coping extending to the margins of the die. Add this wax slowly and in fairly small increments so you can finish the margins of your crown wax up in this soft green wax. Replace the die and coping on the cast on the articulator so you can build up the occlusion of the crown wax up by adding small additions of hard blue inlay casting wax. As you add the wax, Close the articulator to secure the centric stops. Repeat the procedure until you have accurately defined the centric stops of the crown wax up in the blue inlay wax. Finish the wax up to the normal tooth contour. The wax up should be checked by brushing zinc stearate powder over it, closing the articulator and checking the occlusion. Then check the wax up for contact and contour, specifically in the buccal and lingual areas. Place the working cast on the surveyor at the correct path of insertion position by utilizing the straight hand piece rod. Place a wax carving rod on the surveyor spindle. Warm the carving rod with an alcohol torch, testing with your fingers to be sure it isn't too hot, and create the lingual guide plane by guiding the warm rod over the wax on the lingual of the tooth. The guide plane should be about three millimeters long, about one and a half millimeters wide, and it should be smooth. Your crown wax up should have a fairly low survey line at the mesiolingual, a parallel lingual guide plane, and a fairly high survey line at the distolingual. The distal proximal should have a normal bell shape with a high survey line and a definite distal undercut. The buccal survey line should curve downward from the distal buccal to the optimum retentive area in the middle of the buccal. and then curve upward toward the contact at the mesial buckle.
The contact of the survey rod with the powdered wax crown should delineate the survey line fairly accurately. Now, place the 20 thousandths of an inch undercut gauge in the surveyor spindle and check to be sure you have created a retentive area of 20 thousandths of an inch in the mesial distal center of the buckle surface and in the cervical one third of the tooth. The shaft and the flange of the undercut gauge must touch at the same time to indicate this undercut. An occlusal rest seat must be prepared on the distal occlusal surface of the crown wax up. The best and easiest method of creating this seat is to use a warmed number eight straight hand piece round burr and slowly rotate it with your fingers to carve away the wax. Be sure to reduce the marginal ridge area also. The finished occlusal rest preparation should be slightly deeper than the marginal ridge area. After the wax pattern has been carved and surveyed, it should be returned to the articulator and the occlusion and occlusal harmony rechecked. Particular attention should be given to the occlusal rest area. If there is not enough room provided on the wax pattern for the metal occlusal rest of the partial denture, without interfering with the opposing teeth, the rest preparation must be deepened. Retouch the margins, invest and cast the pattern. The casting should be pickled, inspected for bubbles and investment, and cleaned in the ultrasonic cleaner if necessary. Cut off the sprue, remove any bubbles on the inner surface, and try it on the die. If it is satisfactory, finish and polish the casting. Do not polish the parallel guide plane on the lingual, but do remove any roughness. The finished crown should be smooth, highly polished, and with well-adapted margins. Replace the finished crown on the die on the articulator and adjust the occlusion if necessary. The crown should also be checked on the surveyor to be sure you still have the parallel guide plane and adequate buckle retention. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.